So this is all dab bars and stuff. This is all fucking dab. Right, people, let's get this lit up. Let's get it passing for a second. Let's light this up. Get your joints ready, people. Come and join us. This is me and my personal. It's not even Nick's. <coughs> so some of you will. Oh my word! Is it lovely? Yeah. Some of you will disagree with what I'm saying. It don't matter though. It don't matter, does it? You can all have your opinion, yeah, can't you? It's what it's about. That's why we're living this world, isn't it? You might like a different thing. Totally, totally. So if you do disagree with me, I'm partly agreeing with some of it, though. Oh yeah, you, you will do because you've smoked a lot of this with me, haven't you, really? But, again, you know, it's all down to personal choice, people. Not everybody. This is why it's just like human beings in the self. We're all different, aren't we? We all like different things. If we all like the same stuff, I won't have to sit here and do this for you here, would I? So, a roundup of 2018. Now, this is not a roundup video of what's gone on. I'm going to do a New Year's video. Uh, that's that's gonna give me shout outs to various people and the travels that I've done throughout the year. This is basically just the reviews I've done this yeah, year, innit? Yeah. You know what I mean? I remember that re re review distinctly, and we were sat in sun, we were fucking belter. Were we? We were sat in sun, didn't we? Were we? I thought we were, I thought we didn't do it, I thought we didn't do it. Might be wrong. Ah, mm, I've got to say. I think she's on him, mate. Yeah. No back in it, people, as well. So you'll be pleased with that. Right, are you ready? Have you got your joints ready and stuff like that? Are we ready to go? Because these are, like I say, 2018's reviews. Uh, best three of each of each category. Um, 
they drill a lot more, a lot they don't carry away after that with Jace, don't blast it, bastard. Carry it away, old <laughs> plastic bastard. Right, people, I think we'll go from ascending order here, thing, you know, from three to number one. Oh, so, yeah. I think it'll be the best way. Now, UK, again, you know I'm a flavour chaser, and I hunt flavours all over the world. No, I'll summarise this at the end. I'll go through the flavours first, and then I'll do a summarisation of it all. So, UK flower. Wonderland flower. Now, UK, I'm talking England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales here. Uh, I'm Wales, and Ireland, because it's not UK, is it, Ireland? I don't know, but England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. Oh, no, it's it's Britain, isn't it? Britain. I'm oh, thinking man. Britain, yeah, I get it wrong. But England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales is. Right, in third place, coming out at an overall score of 8.8, .8, and I can remember it very clearly in my head, and it was an absolute beautiful smoke. Uh, I believe it was grown local to me, um, so proud of that one, absolute stunner. Mm. It come from a good friend, you know who you are. Uh, Snow Dog, of all things, Snow Dog. Now you've heard what I've said out of, out of this year, just turn it down a little bit, Nick. Best dog of the year then, that, it? It was really good, yeah. Best dog of the year for me, without a doubt. We've been all sorts of stupid dogs coming out this year, but Snow Dog was undoubtedly the nicest one for me this year. That's why I marked it down. I was surprised myself, really. Now, uh, in number two, we've got joint uh, two people in second place. We've got um, coming out from Bees Farms, Mimosa, coming out at a 9.2. Bees Farms, absolute smashing it, a beauty. And we've also got Black Cherry Punch coming from uh, Cali Kush King. Another, both UK, both England, both really, really nice. Both scoring a massive 9.2 there, people. Oh, really good, and I can remember score. both them strains vividly in my head. The Black Cherry was real fuely, real nice fucking uh, cherry tones to it. I swore then, I'm determined not to swear. Uh, real nice cherry fuely tones, so real nice diesel, which I love my diesel, and the Mimosa. Pure orange turps, it was beautiful, really. I love the uh, the Beast Farms Mimosa, really up there. But number one in the uh, in the UK strains, and I've talked about it a bit lately. I talked about it while we were in California. Yeah, you did, yeah, yeah. And this undoubtedly, I totally agree with my own scoring here, and I totally agree with this winner. This is a worthy winner. So big shout out going out to Beast Farms again for this one. Delato number six. This is Delato number six and it comes out at a 9.3. Now I'll tell you now people, it's matching nearly like for like with the big lads of the, of the states is that. That that beast farm is absolutely stunning. Delato number six people. Uh, and we'll look forward to hopefully getting similar again. Similar again. We've got the shit together, haven't we, Beast Farms? Yeah. yeah. No exactly what's going on. So there's no trophy. There you go, Beast Farms. <laughs> hey! Beast Farms, for me personally, the number one bud that I smoked this year. The Lato number six, everybody. That's in UK. Right. Import. Here we go, import. It's really burning well. lovely, is that? Really nice. Right. In third place, coming from uh, <laughs> Green and Gold in <coughs> Nevada, would it? Yeah. <coughs> Beautiful looking bud as well, weren't it? <laughs> really good. Third place, coming from uh, Nevada, Green and Gold, Sour Banana Sherbet. Absolute stunner. It yeah. come out at an 8.8. .8. Again, it's a recent one we've just had. We've just had on yeah. the Cali Trip, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. And an absolute stunner. Really, really were so. Again, if you can get anything from Green and Gold out there in Nevada, we Planet Thirteen or was it Planet, Reed, Planet Thirteen? Definitely. Planet I highly yeah. recommend it. Uh, Salad banana sherbet, people. Now, in second place, we've got three uh, tying, three tying together. We've got first of all, second place is the three tying banana OG coming from Jungle Boys. 
absolute stunner. Really were a stunner. Massive it. And I'm really surprised that the bananas are coming out. Now, bananas tickle me like bugger it. They get me coffee like mad. But <coughs> I must really like them because I'm these bananas are a fair bit, really. But uh, the highs on bananas are fantastic. I think that's why I've gone with it. Uh, again, joint number two. Straw Nana, Straw Nana, Jungle yeah. Boys. It's the sweetness, I think. Yeah, it is. It is. Again, you, you're bananas, people. They're not. You're not getting a taste of a banana and no. stuff like that. You get a sweetness to it, things like yeah, that. So yeah, don't be looking. If you get some of banana and taste stronger banana, it's not that. I'll tell you. As I always say, excuse me. Um, I'm going to get back on, on TV. Um, again, uh, joint second. Bought this in Barcelona, but come over from America, uh, from California. Runs, absolute stunner. Uh, I was smoking it this year at Spanabis. We bought it from the plug, I think, out in Barcelona. Absolute massive one. So they're joint second, and they're all scoring a 9.2. Big, big scores then. So that's uh, Banana OG, Stronana, and Runs coming out second place in Port. Uh, We've got two at number at uh, three. first place. Three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're at three joint first places at three. So it's quite a big in this really. We've got again number one import London pound cake coming from Big Smoky Farms. An absolute beauty again. And again, me uh, being an hypocrite really, it's telling people don't smoke from your tins. That's why I'm so careful in what I say about these California tins because I know it's good weed in some of them. I've had a lot of fucking shit ones, but I've, this particular one, Big Smoky Farms, are absolutely fantastic. So we've got London Pound Cake joint first. We've also got Wedding Cake, one of my favourites, Wedding Cake Jungle yeah, Boys. Yeah, Stunning. Fun. While we've been out on this trip, I, I, I finished most nights with a, a joint of uh, Wedding Cake. Absolutely love it, people. Yeah. I think. yeah. Jungle Boys is way, way up there, people. If you want to know what some of the best in the world, or not the best in the world, I'm not going to say in the world because we're all as good as each other. If you want to smoke some of the best <coughs> in California, go to Jung Jungle Boys. It's TLC. Uh, TLC. Absolutely smash it, people. Absolutely smash it. Um, now, there were certain strains, the Great Pie, the White Fire, that I think is as good as the as the wedding cake, but we didn't review it, did we? No. So it's only down to the ones I reviewed, really. Uh, I will give you a final of my favourite one of the year. But also included in number one, joint first place on import board, Billy Kimber, coming from Garrison Lane. An absolute beautiful, yeah. beautiful OG people. Uh, again, when I reviewed it, I knew it was going to be one of my biggest sitters because it's one of the favourite cannabis has ever smoked in my life it really did take me back uh, to some of the well that made me want to drink then Nick cheers uh, it really did take me back to you know some of the original some of my OGs yeah. out there the yeah. uh, OG original not ocean grown or outside grown original people you can't have an original OG <coughs> OG Kush because the original come from the Himalayas the Himalayas I've not got a scene here, so how can it be awesome grown? So, don't be fooling yourself, people. OG means original, nothing else. So, joint first place, we've got Billy Kimber, Wedding Cake, and London Pound Cake. They're coming out at number one. Now, the best buds I smoked throughout yeah. 2018. Oh, man, and I didn't review it, and it's got to be mentioned as this one. Uh, uh, Ripper Seeds, uh, Kempai. We were lucky enough that in Spanabis, Ripper Seeds handed us some Kempai. Uh, an absolute exclusive, <coughs> me, and Leon, me and Leon managed to smoke a bit. An absolute exclusive, it were. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reviewing that Ripper Seeds. Get you on this list. You should be up there in imports. Should be on it. Um, but yeah, when were Zombie Cush? Must have been last year. It must have been 2017, yeah, yeah, it, it were. So. Overall, my best strain of 2018, this is import, export, job lot, my best strain of 2018 
Didn't even get reviewed because I smoked it too quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Good, it was from, uh, it was bought in Mendozino County with Nikolai Ceausescu. Right. It's from Madro uh, and it was Key Lime Pie. My oh, favourite strain, my favourite, that's fucking strong. My <laughs> favourite strain of 2018, True Bud, yeah. Key Lime Pie people. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Uh, Madro. And absolute quality growers they are out in uh, Mendocino County. I just can't wait to try it again. So that's me, uh, me, uh, me best of me do. Um, best ladies of 2018, best UK Delorto, best import Key Lime Pie. So Beach Farms, massive shout out to you. <coughs> a massive shout out to Madro Jungle Boys. That's fucking well strong, is that? Yeah, Garrison Lane, it's fucking lovely, isn't it, that? Lovely. Right! Dabbage. Now, I've just gone through here and I've realised I've hardly done any. Meant, I've just good. mentioned them. That's what I've just said. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have mentioned that though. My worst disappointment of 2018 was an import. Really, really disappointed. I looked and looked and looked for this strain, uh, or this grower even. I found it again in Mendocino County. Mendocino County seems to be some of the best out there. Yeah. Uh, I actually found it in Mendocino County, but the biggest disappointment to Dr. Dens in 2018 was Swarmy Select uh, Jungle Spice. It was strong though, wasn't it? It was strong. It was strong. What look at Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah. Again, this is only me, my personal opinion. Lots of people will totally disagree with that comment out there. So please, don't be getting bloody guns out and we've had enough of that, we're not listening to it. <laughs> That's my opinion, you have your own, you know what I mean? Think for yourself, don't angry let mob. me think for you. Yeah, angry mob. <coughs> right, dab. I've realised yeah. I've not done much dab this year. We've not done all day because I've not been dabbing as much, to be truthful. Um, so, it's, it's, you know, we've done a few. But they've got, we've got some crackers coming for next year, haven't we? Then oh, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's going to be a damage review that hopefully that we've never heard of. One a month, that's what I'm going to be doing uh, in 2019, people. But uh, this year's Dabage. Some good ones there, though. They've had my favourites, weren't they? Yeah, Round up. Yeah. Right, UK or Wonderland, as we know it, as a conglomerate. Now, again, don't if you don't hear your names on here or anything like that don't be disappointed because i've not done many uh again for the extractors out there around the uk and things like that even around the world if you want to get hold of me and uh, you want me to review anything give us a shout don't piss about give us a shout because i'm we need more stuff coming and i will do an honest review for you right uk in third place Star dog again another dog which advises me in, 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 even in the yeah. top three yeah uh, we've got uh, Stardog coming from Spartan Extracts, coming out at an 8.2. Po- uh, now, I can remember it with a nice sugar, yeah. give a real nice taste, a real nice gassy pininess to it. So, a real nice dog, I do remember it, and it was uh, very clean as well. So, yeah, lovely. So, that was third place. In second second place, recent, uh, ice cream coming from Warwickshire County High Grade. You know, always one of the best out there, in, I think, in the UK. Yeah, I always highly, highly recommend that Warwickshire County are great people. But ice cream coming from Warwickshire County, come out a 9.4, everybody. 9.4, that one. So that's second place. Well done, Warwickshire County. Absolutely. Stand by all day long. But in first place, a <coughs> worthy winner and an absolute beautiful winner. Uh, uh, again, well, I'm good, stuff. A good friends with these, with these people as well. Absolutely, the, the stuff that they, that they, they make, the dabars that they make, is, is beautiful, isn't it? It's a worthy, worthy yeah, winner. Yeah, that, yeah. So, big shout, number one, going out to Elements, Element Extracts, Mimosa. An absolute stunner. It really was, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people out there that sad Elements Mimosa will agree with me there. Uh, I think they come first or second place or something like that in Dead Fox Cup as well yeah, this year. Yeah, well worth so it. So they've had a few wins here of, of, uh, of Elements. So big shout out to Elements. Your score were there a 9.6, massive 9.6 massive, people. That? That's, I think, the, the highest score at lot, really. The highest score at lot. Yeah. We've got a matching, but it's again coming from a big hitter. So again, uh, Star Dog, Ice Cream, and Mimosa. Elements Mimosa, first place for me personally in the UK. 
Right, import dabage. Now again, we're having diamonds, we're having butter, butter, fucking all this stuff. Yeah. But I've just put it into one thing. It's dab at end of the day, innit? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So in uh, in third place, we've got Skywalker OG coming from Fat Clouds, a distillate. It come out at an 8.10, uh, an 8.8. Again, very nice, very clean, really strong. I think it was a power yeah. rather than taste that got that, wasn't it? See, it were, uh, yeah, it were not, yeah, it were just a pure, It were a pure smashing taste, uh, but pure smash, wasn't it? That were. Just it. Um, yeah. Hold on. Is it watch for that? Oh, you taste it through. Oh, it's oh, it's beautiful. That's just buddies, that. I'm sure they put wrong stickers on there, you know. Yeah, sure. No, 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 damn it, that. <coughs> <coughs> and I've never seen <coughs> an 88. <coughs> <So> it. <coughs> Bud. Right. Bloody hell, that come out then. Here we go. I mean, did, did you see that? <coughs> Back in. Bit of a pro. Right. Import dabos. Skywalker OG, I've just said it, had a fat cloud. Yeah. Well that. yeah. Uh, in second place, Purple Punch, which surprises me because Purple Punch is usually a fairly dull one. When it come out at 8.8 did Skywalker OG. Purple Punch, uh, coming from Jungle Boys or Oil Refinery, uh, come out at a 9.2, and I, again, I can remember it sugared up slightly. Yeah. And it was absolute flavoursome. Real great, real purple taste coming through there. But number one in uh, import dabage, and I know why, because it's a stunner, absolute stunner. Tastes amazing. Smoothies coming from Field Extracts, absolutely brilliant. It scored a 9.6 again, tying me Elements of Mimosa, so it shows how good Elements of Mimosa were. But again, number one, bloody full of a cold here. Uh, smoothie. Feel that extract 9.6 people. So absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now again the two winners were my favourite really. The mimosa in UK and smoothies from import were my favourites of the year, them two. But uh, yeah, so that's a roundup. So we've got again UK Strange winner, <coughs> Delato number six beef farms, mm. import strange winner, Billy Kimber, wedding cake, and London pound cake. Uh, that's import bud, UK dab, mimosa elements, import dab, smoothie, field extracts. Uh, my favourite of the year, UK bud, Delato number six, import bud, key lime pie. Again, favourite dab of the year, UK mimosa, import smoothie. Yeah. Right, people. I hope you're happy Good with the thing. We're going to have a lot, yeah. lots more new stuff coming to you next year. Hopefully new strains and things like that. Oh, that's what I'm going to say, a bit of a roundup. In, to compare import bud to UK bud, you can't compare because they're just as good as each other, aren't they? Yeah, your creme de la creme's are. Your creme de la creme, this is what it's about. Nick's it nail on head. It's caring and loving about your product. You show that care and love about your product, you will end up with a yeah. good one, won't you? Cure you know it. what I mean? Cure it. Cure it, get it right. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, we're all as good as each other. I have smoked bud as good as each other throughout the world. So California aren't better, UK aren't better, Africa aren't better. We're all as good as each other, people. Just keep growing and keep doing what you're doing. Again, same as the dab, the UK dab, is as good as any dab really I've smoked throughout the world. Well, America really, Spain, things like that. The UK is way, way up there with that, people. So once again, from Dr. Denz and Nicolai to Ceausescu, you can get it out then. You enjoy whatever you're smoking, eating, talking. Again, that was a full roundup of 2018. Dr. Denzel's, Dr. Denz, Dr. Denzel, Dr. Denzel's favorite strains of 2018. I'm looking forward to the next year's journeys. Oh, yeah, there's a couple more videos come before we hit 2019. I've got to, I'm going to give the shout outs and write ups and, you know, big, big shout outs to the people in 2019. Um, or to, what's happened in 2018. We've got to have a bit of a old Lang Syne, haven't we? Together, a bit of a chill. 
So I will be back at you. A couple more videos coming before we 2019. Right, people. Once again, have I just said this? No idea. Never mind. I'll say it again. No you enjoy it. every smoke and eat your talking. Stay <laughs> medicated. Stay high. Keep that love in your heart, people. If you're liking these videos, hit that thumbs up button. Please hit it. Whoever keeps giving that one thumbs up button, one love to you as well. I don't mind. It's good goodwill to all people out there. So if you're not enjoying the videos, <laughs> At least he's still watching them, aren't you? So never mind. Right, people, and don't forget, hit the subscribe button, people. If you're not subscribed, hit that music, Nick. If you're not subscribed, raise your volume. Get volume going. If you're not subscribed, you're not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it. I don't even know what I'm saying. You're going to fucking miss it. Forget subscribe, people. One love. And enjoy your Christmas if you don't see them before. Have a good one. Yeah, ciao!